Hey everybody, what is going on? If you do not know me, my name is Brian and this is my channel. And what I do here is I usually just talk about whiskey. And today what we are doing in collaboration with Keg and Bottle and also the Bourbon Pursuit podcast, we are taking a look at the two new Nulu barrels that are gonna be coming out. So the first one that we're gonna look at is gonna be a single barrel bourbon. This is a five-year-old bourbon coming in at 112.8 proof. The second of which that we are going to be tasting is a toasted rye. Again, five years coming in at 116 proof. I was able to go on the pick for both of these and uh, I'm actually really excited to see how they've changed once they've been bottled um, from where we've tasted them. And, uh, and we're gonna dive right on in to these. Right away, the nose has a nice honey sweetness to it. Deeper notes there are brown sugar, cinnamon apple. It's really enjoyable for this time of year, at least here in Kentucky, as we're transitioning into fall. Uh, it's kind of soft on the nose. I feel like that comes off a little bit more delicate, a little bit more potpourri-like. To be honest, that kind of nose is the kind of nose that I feel like you would pick up on like a, like a Buffalo Trace product. It's got that, that kind of apple, that honey, that kind of sweet nose. Let's go ahead and go into the palate. There's like a slight bit of mint experiment that hits there, but ma'am, that palate is rich, it's chewy. You get some weighty caramel and vanilla that kind of sit right in the mid palate. And they sit there for a really long time. They're really heavy on the palate. It moves into these kind of deep, heavy brown sugar notes. You get some fruit notes that kind of pop in there, like more orchard fruits. They're juicy, a little bit of melon-like sweetness, a little bit of apple sweetness, a little bit of raisin, a little bit of fig. Honestly, this is a good transition from summer into fall because I feel like that orchard fruit note is something I found on a lot of rye and things that I tried um, in in summer and they're really juicy in summer combined with like that cinnamon apple note make it really nice kind of transitioning into fall a little bit of baking spice there some nutmeg some clove kind of lingers some of that spice on the finish it's semi-dry leather takes over a little bit continuing with those spices man that is nice and while it seems like it's um kind of jumps with some spice. For five years, it doesn't exactly come off super youthful to me. It doesn't come off grainy to me. And I feel like that's the biggest um, benefit to it. You know, when it comes to, to products, specifically younger products, uh, to me, that's the one thing I look for is just to make sure, is it not grainy? And then does it have signs of oak? And then is it rich? Is it chewy? Does it have a really good mouthfeel? It's something I really look forward to in a pour. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that this um, five-year single barrel bourbon really delivers on those fronts. Let's transition over to the toasted rye. Man, this uh, this rye, uh, it comes off like uh, like a classical rye at first. It's it, There's nothing about it that screams that it's toasted. It's got those herbal notes, it's got the rye spice, a little bit sweet, a little bit of that, uh, like that winter green kind of note. <sighs> kind of candied. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit of lemon in there too. Let's go ahead and jump in on the palate. Uh, this is really inviting on the nose. Ooh, and this is way more buttery and, and and textural than I remembered from the pick. On the pick, I feel like uh, a lot of the rye is kind of leaned to this like kind of lemon oil and kind of clove note. And when I say those in that way, I feel like that sounds thin, bright, and spiced. And I don't mean it like that. And especially uh, drinking it bottled, it doesn't exactly come off that way. If you're one who likes drier ryes or maybe like the rare breed rye, this one does dry right away, but it's long. It has some, some kind of cooked or stewed apple notes. It has some wine soaked grape notes. It's got a, like a graham cracker note, kind of holding it all together. Buttered rye bread orange peel, black pepper. There's a whole lot of notes going on here. Some herbal notes. They just kind of like pop all around the palate there. And then as it lingers and it moves down the tongue, 
got this like kind of slow toffee like sweetness almond like sweetness toasted pecan like sweetness that continues on you notice a little bit of like the subtle charred marshmallow note and then it does come in with these clove notes this rye is bold it's sticky kind of just sits everywhere on the palate i mean if you told me this was a, a honey barrel um toasted rye as well i'd probably believe you not that it's overly sweet it's just so sticky and it seems to just really really clinging to the palate i feel like if you add i just add a little bit of water to this i feel like if you add water if you put a cube in this that toasted slightly charred marshmallow note draws out a little bit more the spice becomes a little bit more warming spice and you do notice a little bit more of the citrus pop as well it's not as piercing but i do feel like it kind of lifts up a little bit you notice a little bit more of the citrus but if you want to get into some of that slightly charred toasted marshmallow note a little bit more you might want to add a cube or add a little bit of water to it all right thanks everybody for checking this out again if you're coming from keg and bottle or bourbon pursuit i hope this is helpful and letting you know if you want to purchase these if there are any bottles left over and you're watching this on my channel i'm going to put the links down below to have access to these bottles if they sound enjoyable to you all thanks keg and bottle and thanks bourbon pursuit until next time everybody We'll see you all later.